I'm Keisha. I'm Sahara. And I'm Carla. And this is Tech Jam. Today we're talking about your favorite topic, testing. testing. A lot of our students will be testing online, so we wanted to take some time to share some ways to ensure that our students are as prepared as possible. And while we have many methods of test prep that are very traditional, our testing environment has changed and therefore our test prep must change. I'm sure that you're used to reviewing test taking skills with your students, such as bubbling in answers, but we all should be aware of what new digital skills our students will be facing this testing season. And what better place to discover what tools they're going to use than the environment itself. Online tools training is an important resource for students and teachers to use. It is accessible via the DRC platform and it shows tutorials, short video clips, and even gives you a walkthrough on all of the important skills that students and teachers need to be aware of to prepare for LEAP 2025. Now that we know what to expect from the online testing environment, the question is, how can we prepare our students for that environment outside of the OTT? Daily integration, simulated environments, and using similar tools daily are excellent ways to give students the digital skills they need. Does this mean what I think it means? It sure does. Let's get techy with it. There are many tools and strategies that you can use in daily instruction to help get your students ready. For example, in terms of writing, in the online testing environment, students are provided with a text box and a maximum word count. How often have we given students the opportunity to type in their responses in a text box with a max word limit? If the answer is no or none, then you might want to consider using Google Forms and a function within Google Forms called Data Response Validation. You can actually set up a minimum word count or a maximum word count. So whether you're trying to teach your students to pack a lot of punch in a few words, or you're trying to get them to add text evidence and explanation, using Google Forms to do that can give them practice. Did you guys hear that? Yes. Yeah. It's time for We, we Got, Got company. company. Soon our students will be involved in testing. Here are a few tips for your room environment. The lighting in the classroom impacts student performance. Students need to be able to see clearly the things that are in front of them. Some types of lights can lead to low performance. Studies have shown that flickering lights are a distraction and can lead to headaches, migraines, and low levels of concentration. So open the blinds and give some natural light. And don't forget to get those flickering lights changed before testing. Another way that we can help to prepare our students is by providing them with similar tools. For example, they'll have access to highlighters while they're taking their test. Tools like Read and Write can provide highlighters in daily instruction, whether you're using an EPUB, a PDF, a website, or even a Google app. It works in all of those scenarios. For math, an equation builder is a tool that they'll be using in their online test. And so tools like Equatio can make that possible within daily instruction, whether you're building an equation or even a graph. So be on the lookout for tools and resources that provide similar tools to the testing environment that you can utilize in daily instruction. Lastly, since many of our students are going to be taking their assessment online, I think it's an important question to ask ourselves, why would any of our students still be taking paper-based assessments? If you are looking for a online tool to replace your paper-based assessment, tools like Edulastic as well as Google Forms can help you to take your assessments digital. Both of these platforms will provide similar question types, such as drag and drop or drop down menus that you just can't get in a paper-based test. So look for platforms for assessment that will simulate our online testing environment. While our team loves to share strategies and resources with you, we also get the opportunity to visit schools and see a lot of amazing instructional leaders throughout the district helping to get their students and their faculties test ready. So whether you're at Northeast High and you're participating in an instructional blitz or you're at Woodlawn Middle pepping out for the testing pep rally, there was a lot that they had to share. So check out what they had to say. Blitz is um, twice in the second semester, we take two days out of our normal schedule 
We rescheduled the entire school based on their individual testing uh, assignments. We are drilling down on specific test prep that then ties back into our data reviews because the lessons we choose to focus on, the skills and the standards, are all identified through that data review process. And so at the beginning of the second semester, our Blitz is going to focus on first semester skills where we need some reteaching or some refreshing. And then right before testing, we'll go into a second Blitz and that will be based on second semester standards that we've uh, covered but may need a little bit more focus time on. We have an amazing uh, LEAP and ACT parent night coming up and you know we're giving away free dress, food, door prizes, I think we've even got a flat screen TV we're giving out. Uh, but those are all the hooks just to get uh, the parents in. And while we've got them here, based on the test that their kids are going to take individually uh, by grade level, we're going to go over assessment guides, what those test structures are, how the test has changed over the course of time, and what they can what they can expect for their kids. Well, on middle school, we are trying to get the kids motivated and excited for the LEAP test. So what we did is we got the teachers together at our school improvement team and we made that our primary focus for the last meeting. So first thing we decided is that we're moving from the basic to the mastery, and then we decided that we needed to come up with some different ways to motivate them. So the first thing that we're doing doing is each content area is going to reward the kids with a free dress pass if they get a mastery or above on their CFA. And if they get a mastery or above on all the content areas and then they get a free pass to go to area 51. The next thing that we decided to do is that we're going to do a banner contest. So each one of the homerooms is given a rubric and on that rubric the main thing that they need to have are motivational quotes, test taking tips, and the testing dates. The culminating um, activity is going to be a leap blitz. We're going to have content area based competitions and the kids are going to rotate and they're going to have um, prizes for the kids that score the highest. We're going to have funny skits with teachers and students on what to do and what not to do when taking the leap test. And then we're also going to have a talent show. All of it has to be around the leap test and it has to be around again those motivational quotes, test taking tips, and just anything to get kids really excited about the leap test. We focused on test readiness in this episode, but we have some other exciting news to share as well. Clever, a single sign-on solution is here and ready. So it's time for a, a support, support report. report. Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be explaining all about an exciting new resource in our district called Clever. I'll explain what Clever is, how to access EBR's Clever Portal, and how students and teachers will log in. To get started, you need to understand a few easy basics about Clever. Clever is a secure website that stores usernames and passwords. Clever allows teachers and students to log into multiple apps and websites with a single username and password. The usernames and passwords stored in Clever are updated every day from our student information system, JCampus. This means teachers no longer have to create accounts for students in many online programs or wait for someone else to create accounts for students to allow them to use online learning apps or websites. EBR has its very own Clever login portal. To access it, go to this link. When you get to EBR's Clever Login Portal, select Login with Google. Teachers and students will use their Google username and password for access. Be sure to add the at ebrschools.org. Once you've entered your Google username and password, click Next. Now we can see a student's Clever page. Once logged in, this student can use the apps and websites shown on the page. The best part is that the student is already logged into many of the websites and apps displayed on their Clever page. Right now, you may only see a few things available, and that's okay. Our district is working to turn on more apps and programs in this portal. The real purpose of Clever is to give teachers and students in our district more time in the classroom for learning. Clever helps us do this by cutting down on the time that students have to spend figuring out what websites to go to and how to log into those websites. In fact, Clever actually already has several test prep tools ready for you, such as Typing.com and Edulastic. So whether you're trying to get your kids test ready, inform parents, or just kind of strategize instructionally, we have something for everyone. So until next time, 
Keep tech jamming!